Hi guys, my name is Rohan and you are watching a video in the series of SQL interview question and answers. In this video, I will show you the differences between the row number versus rank versus dense rank functions. These are also called as window functions in uh, SQL world. Uh, so let's take an example and uh, we'll do a quick hands on as well. So here is an example of a customer table and based on the email address, um, I'm going to generate uh, the row number rank versus you know dense rank as well so if you carefully observe we have got uh, this fourth and fifth value as a repeated email address which also called as you know duplicate so in this situation the row number is going to generate the unique number irrespective of whether uh, your value is repeated or uh, unique right so that's the characteristic of uh, row number when compared when com when it comes to rank it's going to generate the unique uh, ranks for unique values and wherever you have the uh, repeated values it's going to generate the same rank for each of the um, duplicated record and as soon as it finds the next uh, unique record the value of the rank will be skipped in this case uh, the rank 5 is skipped because of this repeated value right and it's going to generate 666 because we have uh, three repeated values so that's why the rank is generated 666 and uh, if you um, compare the rank with the dense rank what happens is um, the dense rank will not skip any numbers in between right uh, as soon as it finds a um, duplicated value repeated value it's going to generate the same rank 4 and 4 and when it comes to a next new value it's going to increment the number from 4 to 5 right that's the only significant uh, change between rank and dense rank so let's take a look at it um, by doing the hands-on on, on uh, SQL server so let's do a quick hands-on here uh, I have got a customer table and uh, if you see it, it has got customer uh, details along with the email address right so let's uh, go ahead and add the row number function and let's see how that you know works so the syntax for that is row number function over and then you would do the uh, order by email address right it's going to create uh, the row number right uh, row number based on this um, you know sort order by default it's ascending sort so let's see how that uh, is generated okay so if you carefully observe now the fourth and fifth record is having uh, the duplicates however the row number is generated as four and five Right, so let's go ahead and extend this uh, function here. I'm going to just copy the same thing because the syntax is exactly the same. Uh, instead of row number, I'm going to call it as rank, and I'll also, um, you know, give the alias names as you know ranks. So now, if you carefully observe that the fourth and fifth, the rank generated is four and four, and number five is skipped, and it will continue with. Uh, the next number right so let's say if you have three duplicates here then uh, it would be four 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 and then uh, it would start with you know seven so let's go ahead and uh, extend uh, this function by having you know dense rank so I'll just uh, rename it as dense rank comma here and that's all uh, we will have to change this here okay so now if you see for the first three values the uh, for the first three you know emails the dense rank is unique 44 four, and then 555 five, five. you can take the same SQL and also uh, run it on MySQL workbench uh, the query syntax and everything is still the same uh, let's go ahead and run this query okay the same results have been uh, reproduced and for the record 4 and 5 the row number gives the unique value rank gives uh, 4 and 4 and um, thus uh, the rank of 5 is skipped under the regular rank function whereas the dense rank has retained the number 5 so that's the only um, you know uh, difference and it's the syntax and everything results is the same across all different uh, databases uh, you can do the same uh, using um, the same query can be used on uh, Oracle as well. It's going to produce the same results. I hope this is clear. Uh, thank you for watching. Keep learning and sharing knowledge. Thank you. All the best.